in the since the last class last two three classes we have been discussing 2d nmr especially in the last class i discussed about the cosi a correlated spectroscopy i mentioned cosi that thing with the two pulse sequence 90 t1 90 t t2 we have only preparation period evolution period and detection period t1 period is the evolution period and we collect the signal in two uh, dimension do the fourier transformation you get a two dimension spectrum and what does two d these two pulse sequence does especially when you consider the spin system single uncoupled spin single spin without any coupling to anything or two uncoupled spins or two coupled spins various examples we took i explained to you if you consider a molecule like chcl3 which is one proton if you ignore the coupling with carbon 13 natural abundance then we get a single peak which is only one chemical shift when you take such an example it evolved the, such a molecule in the cosi pulse sequence evolves in the t1 dimension at the chemical shift of the proton and at the t2 dimension also in the t2 dimension we evolve with the same chemical shift and such type will give rise to a peak when you do the fourier transformation which comes on the diagonal and if you go horizontally you get a frequency which correspond to chemical shift of proton in the t1 dimension same chcl3 proton come vertically down you again get the chemical shift of the proton chcl3 in the t2 dimension so uh, the frequency of this one which is on the diagonal remains same in both the dimensions it doesn't change and i took the example of let us say two uncoupled spins we get two peaks on the diagonal each of them correspond to chemical shift in both the dimension identical chemical shift of the same spin if i have one proton here chcl3 in both the dimension it gives the chemical shift of chcl3 if i another peak on the diagonal it both the dimension it give rise to chemical shift of some other molecule i explained to you about three spins and then i took the example of two coupled spins interesting thing is two coupled spins two a x spin will give rise to four peaks two for a and two for x when a spin when it evolves it evolves at its own frequency that means at its own chemical shift in t1 and in the during the process after evolution it gives part of its energy to proton x which is coupled to and then it evolves not only at its frequency and also evolves at the frequency of x that means when it evolves at its own frequency it gives a diagonal peak when it evolves at its x frequency of x it gives a cross peak similarly x will evolve at its own frequency and gives rise to a diagonal peak and it gives part of its energy to a and evolves at the frequency of a spin gives rise to cross peak and i explained to you when we have two coupled spins we have four peaks diagonal and the square pattern for a four for x and they come in the square pattern and in it is, it is and i we also understood they are all auto correlation peaks two peaks will correlate within themselves and the cross peaks are correlation of a and x a gives its uh, magnetization to x gives rise to cross peak x gives magnetization to a gives rise to cross peak a cross peaks are also four peaks in the square pattern but the structure of diagonal and cross peaks are different diagonal peaks both are in phase doublets in both the dimensions cross peaks are anti phase doublets in both the dimensions this is what we understood so we will go further now and see how we can utilize cosi in understanding many things <coughs> i will show you how do we identify different molecules a coupled partner or otherwise using cosi i consider example of two molecules there are two protons here two protons here all are di completely different protons different chemical shifts there is no there is no symmetry here and this proton and this proton is different this and this are different when these two are coupled between themselves i will say it is a ax spin system weakly coupled chemical shifts are far away separated this also two protons form weakly coupled two spins give us to four peaks two for a and 2 for x four peaks we get here 2 for a and 2 for x four peaks so each molecule give four four peaks and this is the pattern we are going to get okay and each molecule will have two chemical shifts now i mixed up i have taken the mixture of this molecule both both this i have taken together now each of them is when it gives four peaks for this four peaks for this two chemical shifts two chemical shifts This is the this is the spectrum I am going to get. Now our challenge is to identify which are the coupled partners. 
which are the two peaks coming from or four peaks coming from two different protons of one molecule. The question is very clear. The challenge is to identify what are the four peaks pertaining to each molecule. Four peaks, if I identify, I know the two chemical shapes. How do you identify that? Now, there are various possibilities. If I want to identify the coupled partners, one, whatever I have marked in red, two, four, these four peaks may belong to one molecule, two protons coupled, AX will give four peaks. One and two could be coupled partners. 3 and 4 could be coupled partners that is a possibility. So, this this are 1 and 2 correspond to one molecule, 2 ortho protons of one molecule and 3 and 4 correspond to 2 ortho protons of other molecule which I showed. This is one possibility. What are the other possibilities? There are other two possibilities. One is 1 and 3 could be coupled partner. These two 4 peaks may coming from one molecule and these 4 peaks may be coming from other molecule that is also possible. So, 1 and 3 and 2 and 4 are coupled partners, 1 and 3 is coupled gives rise to 4, four peaks and two, 2 and 4 are coupled gives rise to 4 peaks. Then what is the next possibility? 1 and 4 are coupled that gives rise to 4 line pattern, 2 and 3 protons are coupled that is also another coupled. So, there are 3 ways we can think of coupled partners in 2 molecules. I can get simply I get a spectrum like this, but if I have to make an assignment I have to say these 2 peaks may correspond to 1 molecule, these 2 may correspond to another molecule, these 2 four peaks may correspond to other molecule. How do I do that? Now, I can utilize the co and understand and make the assignment very very easy way. Look at this one. If I take this molecule mixture of this molecule and run a co spectrum if I get a pattern like this, like this is the Cauchy spectrum and this is the diagonal, then I would say yeah, 1 and 2 are coupled. Why? These two are coming from one molecule because see as I told you 2 peaks, this will give 4 peaks diagonal in a square pattern in phase doublets, both this gives diagonal x 1 and 2 both will give diagonal peaks 4 4 peaks in phase diagonal in phase doublets. And also, one is coupled to two means. There is a scalar coupling. One will give a cross peak to two at this frequency. Two, whose chemical shift is here, gives us a cross peak to one. Remember, the peaks coming in the diagonal correspond to its chemical shift of the protons. Now, this is the chemical shift of this proton. This is the chemical shift of this proton. So, proton two, if I go horizontally here, it gives a cross peak to one like this. So, proton 1 come down here, go here, it gives a cross peak to 2. It tells me 1 and 2 are coupled, but it is from one molecule. 1 and 2 are giving cross peaks from one molecule. Look at the other one. There is another possibility. 3 and 4 can come like this and coupled. I will say these two are diagonal peaks correspond to chemical shift of 3, chemical shift of 4. Now, 3 and 4 giving a cross 3 is giving a cross peak to 4, 4 is giving a cross peak to 3 that means 3 and 4 coupled. So, there are 4 diagonals and we have cross peaks between 2 of them. These 2 cross peaks tells me they are coupled from 1 molecule, these 2 cross peaks tell me 1 and 2 are coupled and they are from another molecule. So, if my question I wanted to assign 4 peaks my challenge was which is which are the coupled partners. If I simply run a Cauchy spectrum of this mixture, if I get a spectrum like this, then I immediately say these two are from one molecule and these two are from other molecule. All right, this is how it is pin 1 and 2 are coupled, pin 3 and 4 are coupled. Alternately, if I get a spectrum like this, very interesting. Now, sit on this diagonal, come vertically down, go vertically horizontally here and you get a diagonal peak. The two diagonal peaks are there and they get cross peaks. You go along this axis you get cross. So, 1 and 3 gives rest a cross peak, 1 is giving cross peak to 3 here, 3 is giving cross peak to 1 here. <coughs> it gives to 1 cross peak. So, that means what I would say is if you go by this diagonal if I write 
then what I say, 1 and 3 are coupled because it is giving cross peak and I have put one color and another one is obviously left over 2 and 4 are also coupled. If I get a spe cosy spectrum like this for this mixture, then I will as make the assignment of this doublet and this doublet for one molecule, this doublet and this doublet I will assign for other molecule. On the other hand, if I get a spectrum like this, this is another interesting thing. So, now one come down you get a cross peak, go horizontally here you get a diagonal. So, when these two when the cross peaks go vertically up and horizontally if you come, if you hit two diagonal peaks then they are coupled that is the assumption that is understood you have to understand that. So, if one start with one diagonal come horizontally I am sorry vertically come horizontally you meet another diagonal and then this cross peaks tells me these two diagonal peaks are coupled that means 1 and 4 are coupled exactly what I saw in the previous k okay, 1 and 4 1 2 1 3 are coupled here 1 and 4 are coupled and also 2 and 3 are coupled because from 2 come vertically down go horizontally here there is a cross peak here between 1 and 2 1 and 2 are the diagonal peaks and when you go you can complete a square going vertically down down going up going horizontally and then going up and going horizontally you can complete a square. That means, I will say spin 2 and 3 are also coupled. So, there are 3 possibilities simply take a Cauchy spectrum and looking at the Cauchy spectrum you will say which protons are coupled, which 2 spins are coupled and they are from which molecule easily you can do that. So, we know how to use the Cauchy. Let us use the Cauchy. <coughs> I am sorry for analysis of the spectra of simple molecules. We will analyze the Cauchy spectrum of simple molecules. We get a feel for what is happening. So, with that we will become more familiar. I will start with a simple molecule ethyl 2 butionate. This is a molecular structure. I have written see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the protons. Okay. Proton A is here, proton B is here. A and B are the two numbers I have given, but 1 is a CA3, 5 is a CA3, that is correct because a terminal group. Always terminal group, as I have been telling you, comes at the high field. One of them correspond to one of the CA3. Whether this peak correspond to this CA3 or this peak correspond to this CA3, I do not know. I have to identify how do I do that. What I am going to do is simply I will sit on one of the diagonal, come vertically down, I hit a cross peak. Look at it. I come vertically down here, I am hitting a cross peak. When from here, I hit a cross peak. Go horizontally, I get a diagonal. So, these two diagonal peaks are there. That means this proton and this proton which comes on the diagonal are coupled 4 and 5 are coupled and afterwards there is no other this thing it you can complete the square that means this 4 proton 4 and 5 are coupled any other coupling here there you cannot see it it forms a closed system coupled system one system one spin system. So, we can safely say this peak is because of C A 3 and this is because this one is because of CH2. We could easily say that. Next, what is the other thing we have to see? Other CA3, we will start with other CA3. This is another CA3, again terminal CA3. Come down, go horizontally, you complete a square. That means, 1 is coupled to 2. Next one. Okay. At the same time, you can see 2 is also coupled to 3. You may ask me a question, why not this uh, this uh, 3 and this why not this 2? You can complete a square like this and this may become and this also may be, if you may say this is 2 and this is 3. You can say that, but we can also use some multiplicity pattern. For example, this will be more complex because 
it will be split into a quartet because of this and further each of the quartet is split into triplet because of this. So, it is a more complex pattern whereas, this will only be a triplet because of CH2. So, sometimes you have to use your other idea of understanding of multiplicity pattern. See this is more complex here than this one. I will not it is not expanded if you expand you will see that is why I would say complete this will complete a square this is proton 2. Now, from the proton 2 you can do one more thing go horizontally up go horizontal and go vertically up you see it another peak here. So, 2 is coupled to 3 as a consequence these two are coupled and giving rise to cross peak here. This cross peak correspond to 1 and 2 whereas, this cross peak correspond to 2 and 3. There is also A is also this one this A3 is also coupled to 3 see all the 3 is there you can see the cross peak here cross peak is there from here to here to here there is this is coupled to this this is also coupled to this there is a long range correlation it shows correlation to both the protons. So, what you understand from this is 1 is coupled to 2 gives a cross peak and 2 is coupled to 3 and that gives a cross peak. So, you can make the assignment of all of them very easily you can make the assignment. Go to a lit little bigger molecule instead of butionate we will go to heptanane this is 3 heptanon this is a, this is the Cauchy spectrum. Now, where do we start with to assign as always start with a one where you are confident of assignment. I would say these two CA 3s come at the high field true and then both of them are triplets why CA 3 is coupled to CH 2 this CA 3 is coupled to CH 2. So, both the CA 3s are triplets. So, obviously, we can see both are triplets here. So, I can start with <coughs> one of them I do not know which is which we will make an assignment. So, what we will do is we will start with one of the peak so, otherwise we can also do one more thing we can also start with the we have to use the other way these two CH 2s. So, we can start with that CH 2 and do the assignment that is also these, should, these two the reason is these two should be downfield because it is directly within C double bond row that is one way, but I would even you as go like this with the C H 3 does not matter this is how it is cho chosen here. So, go with one of the protons come up come here you see horizontal and go up and complete the square. If this is proton 2 yeah, let us say if this is proton 2 and if this is coupled to proton 1 and it completes a square look at it it is not coupled to anything else this forms one square right. But if you carefully see there is only this is the only two coupled partners nothing else. Of course, you may say there is a peak here, but they are not same it is the, there are two peaks overlapped here it is from other proton, but this forms a complete square. So, I would say if this is one of the proton C A 3 this has to be 2 and this is the only isolated partner here you cannot see anything else here apart from this these are the only these two groups are isolated coupled partners. Then obviously, there is another peak here I can start with C A 3 come down complete the square if this is another proton C A 3 then this complete a square this has to be the next immediate coupled partner I would say this is proton 6 because it is the immediate coupled partner. What will happen this 6 will further couple to say 5 from 6 you come down complete the square now then what are you going to see this 6 is coupled to 5. So, this has to be 5 I can say this is 5 started with uh, for example, 7 I got a square. So, immediate coupled partner for this is 6 and from the 6 diagonal I completed a square then I know this is 5 this one. Further what I am going to do I will start with 5 come down and complete the square that means, the, this has to be 4. So, 4 5 6 7 forms one spin system start with 4 go here 5 
go with 6 and then meet 7. So, step by step in a la like a ladder you can go and make the assignment. So, here in this molecule there are two groups of coupled spin system one is this group other is this group both we could make the assignment just by looking at the cosy cross spins. All you have to do is sit on a diagonal on one of the peaks in which you are confident of your assignment with that start coming down go up horizontally if you hit another diagonal that means these two peaks are coupled and you should complete a square. From that diagonal you can continue like this further see whether there is one more square and then from other one. So, like you can keep on extending like a ladder one after the other like here. So, like start with this go here we here here like this keep going one by one and then complete assignment of all the coupled partners can be made ok. Now, we will go to the bigger model slightly I mean increase the complexity as the time goes by. We will analyze the spectrum of molecule anuline molecule this has a symmetry here. Here if you carefully look at the structure of the molecule you can immediately say this phenyl protons there is a symmetry of course, there are only two protons they form an isolated spin system obviously and it is not coupled to anything else they are far away separated it is not coupled to anything else. So, obviously that is one spin system. Next if I want to start the assignment ok that is this one I can go ahead and make the assignment here this forms a phenyl group one complete spin system can be assigned alpha and beta aromatic protons. But further what happens if you look at it carefully this molecular structure you will see A and F are the protons which can split only by a single neighbor this can become a doublet because of this this can become a doublet because of this and 1, 2, 3, 4 bond couplings are not there let us say it is not there. So, this is also 4 bond coupling is not there this A and F are the only protons which can be a doublet it has to be doublet because it is split by only a single proton. So, with that I, ha I have to identify two doublets here where are the two doublets here in the isolate in this group there is one doublet here it carefully I can see there is another doublet here I can see both are there of course, very clear doublets fine. One important thing you should also carefully observe A has a trans coupling with B E and F are cis coupled remember I told you already long back trans coupling is always longer I mean larger than cis coupling this could be about 12 to 15 hertz this could be about 7 to 10 hertz. So, trans coupling being larger coupling between A and B proton that means this is larger. So, I would start with a proton A which is a doublet with a larger separation I can see here there is a proton with a larger so A look at this doublet this is smaller than this obviously this is a cis proton which is have a cis coupling I will clear carefully say this is A and this is F I can even make the assignment all right we will start with that start with A now A come down here you hit a peak go horizontally you hit a diagonal that means A is coupled to B it is somewhere here. So, it completes a square if this is A this has to be B all right I know B from B I can go further up complete this square. So, that means B is coupled to C this is C. Now, with C I can go like this I can complete this, this C I can complete a square this is D. From D there is another coupling from D to E. So, you can if you carefully see from D one peak is coming here there is a diagonal I will erase this thing to make it clear. So, from D it is coming here and you see a diagonal here go vertically up and complete that that means this has to be E. Further from E diagonal you are going to have coupling with E f like this this is a diagonal. So, A and E and F are coupled. 
So very easily you can make the assignment. Start with the known one. From I will repeat it quickly. You can understand now. A to B is coupling. Okay, I will remove the markings first. Okay, A is coupled to B and forms a square. From B it forms a square. That is C. Then C it goes to D. From D it comes to E. From E we are going to get F, and this is a aromatic group. Very easily we can assign all the peaks by using the Cauchy spectrum of Anulin. We'll go to another bigger molecule, little lengthier. Now we will make the assignment. Where do we start with? As always, look at the molecule carefully. Both these molecules will have terminal groups, which are CA3. And each of the C A 3 is coupled next immediate neighbor is C H 2. Obviously, these two peaks have to be triplets. There are two triplets here. So, we will start with one of the triplet and then start making the assignment. Now, you know how do you go? First sit on the diagonal with one of the peaks and then complete a square like this. So, this C A 3 you come down horizontally vertically go horizontally and complete the square and there is no other coupling no other cross peak between these two. That means, this and this are coupled partners. If this is proton 7 this is proton 6. What is the next one? Next one of course, I can see one more thing here and this forms another pair because this is another triplet. So, where is if that is the triplet what else it should be? If this has to be 1 and this is 2. You start with this. You see, look at this. You start with this. This complete the square. One, come down horizontally, complete, and this and this there is a cross peak. So that means this and this are coupled. So this has to be one because we already assigned seven. This one, this and this have been assigned. So this has to be proton one. So when you complete the square, this is proton two. You understand? So we have assigned proton one and two. Obviously, next leftover is this group. This is two CH two. One which is attached to oxygen directly will come down. So I would say that is proton H three, and proton three sit on the diagonal, and then go horizontally and vertically like this. Will complete a square. So that means if this is three, this has to be four. This is three. This is four. That means, this Cauchy spectrum identified three groups of coupled spin systems in this molecule. Molecule looks little lengthier, bigger, but with if you know how to assign the Cauchy spectrum, it is a matter of 5 minutes you can assign all the peaks. Simply you have to sit on one diagonal where you have a confidence is there in your peak, complete the square, and if you sit another diagonal, these two diagonal peaks, chemical shifts, if you know those two are the coupled partners, then you can ex keep extending the logic in a stepwise manner. We will go to the little bigger molecule, bit more complex. How do we assign this one? This is a spectrum of trans 2 C 6 non adiagonal. Again, if you carefully see, this is C A 3 I have to start with, it is a triplet. So, I will start with that. Okay. And then if you come down, there is no other cross peak, only this, and go horizontally and complete the square. So, if this is CH3, then this has to be CH2. I would say H8. Easily, I can make the assignment for that. What next? Come from 8, see there is a uh, cross peak here. If you carefully see, there is a cross peak there. Complete this go horizontally complete the square. So, I have completed that square. So, then what is the other one? It has to be 7 and then next with 7 there is also coupling with something else there is unresolved here. If you look at carefully here is there are two peaks overlapped unresolved as a consequence 6 is also there. There is a cross peak between 6 and 7, but because of poor resolution we are not able to see that all right. With 6, I can go further, complete the square that has to be 5. Afterwards, 6, it has to be 5. Then 5 has a 
class pick coupled to 4 this has a class pick here and these two are not resolved again it is poor we can carefully see there is no resolution at all here there are two peaks overlapped here and you are not going to see here so as a consequence you do not see it but there are peaks here so that must be 4 5 is coupled to 4 what next 4 if you complete it is coupled to 3 I complete the square and from 3 I can sit on the diagonal of 3 go another complete another square then this has to be 2 from the 2 diagonal I sit come down and complete this square then obviously that has to be 1. So, molecule looks fairly complex, but if you know how to analyze the Cauchy spectrum it very easily we can make assignment of all the peaks without any difficulty. Let us look at this molecule bit more complex lengthy molecule, but I, I tell you it is, does not take much time at all to analyze obviously these two are the isolated group this is CA3 and there is a one more quartet where is the quartet we can think of only this. So, this is 7 this is 6 I am sorry 8 here the remaining things are here and of course, this is a bromine which is the attached to bromine it comes downfield this is 1 and it has to be a triplet because it is coupled to only one of them and all other things this is coupled to 2 CH2 some uh, you know complex multiplicity pattern this is coupled to 2 CH2 complex multiplicity pattern this is coupled to 2 CH2 complex multiplicity pattern but only this CH2 has coupled to this and is a triplet very easily we can make the assignment of all these things even I do not need a cosy but nevertheless we will use the cosy and then make the simplest assignment for this thing ok I can assign all those things we will go to cosy now in the case of cosy start with 8 come here and complete this here the problem is with to assign 2 3 and 4 which is 3 which is 2 and which is 4 we do not know because each of them are coupled to 2 to CH 2s on either side there are CH 2 groups. So, which identical multiplicity pattern is there which is 2 which is 3 which is 4 you do not know for that Cosy helps you start with proton C A 3 at high field 8 you complete a square it becomes this is 7 and 8 and then this is 1 because down field C H 2 I know that can complete this square then this has to be 2 I know we carefully without any confusion I can assign what is 2 and from 2 I can go like this and complete this then that is 3. See in the 1D there was a confusion multiplicity pattern was identical I do not know which is 3 which is 2 which is 4. So, there is a uh, now I can reason out by just looking at the cross peak in the Cauchy and this is th obviously 3 is coupled to 4 here and that is 4 and 4 complete this and forms a 5 everything can be assigned and this is the pattern here. So, like this we can start assigning this thing and lot more things we can uh, do and few more example of complex molecules especially bio molecules I will take to make you more comfortable Cauchy is the one thing which everybody uses if you are a scientist using NMR spectroscopy you cannot do away with Cauchy to make you more comfortable because this course is specially designed for the analysis of the spectra in the next class I will take few more examples to make you understand Cauchy and then we will go to few other example types of cosy experiments what type of cosy we have and everything later. So, I am going to stop here today we discussed uh, we took several examples of analysis of the cosy spectra starting with the 2 molecules you know and then if you take the mixture how the pattern comes like that then the real examples of cosy spectra of several simple molecules to little bigger molecules we took and we know how to analyze all you have to do is simply identify one of the peak in which you are confident of assignment sit on a diagonal of that come down see the cross peak you should complete the square. So, that cross peak should be in pairs and then from that diagonal go to another cross peak if you is there complete that square from that diagonal continue like this you can go one by one like a ladder and then make assignment for all the protons in a given molecule. So, with this I am going to stop we will continue with the other things in the next class thank you very much.